So text to speech, how does it work exactly? That's what I'm going to be showing you in this video, along with giving you a definition and turning that definition itself into actual speech. Here's exactly how it works. First and foremost, I used AI to actually answer this question for you, and it's very good. So I put, how does text-to-speech work? And it says, have you ever wondered how text-to-speech works? When you type out a text or document, there are a lot of different elements that go into turning that text into speech. First, the text is analyzed to determine which words are stressed and which words are not. This is important because it helps to create the right intonation when speaking. Next, the text is converted into a series of phonemes, which are the smallest units of sound and language. The phonemes are then synthesized into speech using a computer-generated voice. The result is a text that sounds natural and easy to understand. So the next time you hear a text-to-speech program, you can be confident that there is a lot of complex technology working behind the scenes to make it sound great. So that's an overall kind of background idea of how it works. Now what I'm going to do is take this actual text here, and I'm going to put it into MRF, which is a text speech software. They do come with a free trial. If you want to check them out in the description, I will leave a link. And if I paste this in here, it's going to allow me to separate it, which is great. So I can split it by paragraphs. I can don't split it or split script by sentences. But I like how this is. So I'm going to paste this in here. And as you can see, we have each of these sections. And the cool thing is we can also add a voice to it. I'm using Marcus for this. I'm going to give you an example of how great he sounds for this example. We are innate. And we believe in breaking every unattainable beauty. And I got to show you Natalie too, because she's phenomenal for like advertisement type voice. Just listen to this one. Introducing Perfect Meal, a special formula for your feline. Made All right, that one is great. Anyway, let's go with Marcus. We already have Marcus, so we can close that. And what I can do is just simply render all of these. And what's going to happen is that this software is going to do pretty much everything we talked about, and it's going to create an audio file on the bottom. So allow me to click on this. I'm just going to cut the video so you don't have to wait, and then I'll actually listen to all this, and you can hear how it sounds personally. All right, so there we go. We have 40 seconds of information. Remember, this was just text, and we're turning it into speech. I'm going to click play and let the Murph software do all the heavy lifting here. So let's take it away with the audio and what we have. Have you ever wondered how text-to-speech works? When you type out a text or a document, there are a lot of different elements that go into turning that text into speech. First, the text is analyzed to determine which words are stressed and which are not. This is important because it helps to create the right intonation when speaking. Next, the text is converted into a series of phonemes, which are the smallest units of sound in a language. The phonemes are then synthesized into speech using a computer-generated voice. The result is a text that sounds natural and easy to understand. So the next time you hear a text-to-speech program, you can be confident that there is a lot of complex technology working behind the scenes to make it sound great. I don't know about you, but that was phenomenal. And of course, like the uh, when I came up with that paragraph, I assume there's a lot more that goes behind it, like a little bit more technical details. But that should give you a good idea about how text to speech works overall. Once you actually have that text, you put it in there. There's a lot going around in the background. And of course, you can always change the voice. But I thought that one was phenomenal. That was a perfect example of turning text to speech using Murph. So I hope that answers your question about how the process works. If you'd like to try out Murph, the link will be in the description. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment down below. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.